Once upon a time, there was a story about a little boy and his trumpet and his two brothers. They made their way into the woods in hopes to find the magical rock. They found the rock, pulled it back, and turned it around. Poof! They entered into the magical, mystical forest. It was a beautiful, sunny day. There was no clouds in the sky, and they could see a beautiful waterfall in the far distance along the mountainside. On the left side, there was a beautiful lake, pristine and crystal clear. If you looked very close, you could see the trout swimming. The boys loved to fish, and since spring was coming, they decided to make their way out to the lake, hopefully to find the big one. They got into their boat and made their way out into the lake. The beautiful sounds of spring and summer were in the air. Butterflies from all over had finally made their way into the magical, mystical forest. On the far right side, there was beautiful fields of various colored flowers from greens and purples, oranges and yellow. It was extremely beautiful, beautiful time. I hope today we're going to find that big one, the middle brother said. Nah. I'm going to get the big one this time, the little boy the trumpet said. The youngest brother looked over and said, I'll bet you I'll catch more fish than all of you, even if you catch the biggest fish. I think that sounds like a bet, said the little boy with the trumpet. Right on, said the middle brother. You got yourself a deal, said the youngest brother. It was a very small boat, no larger than 17 feet. Each had a designated spot at the bow, the middle of the boat, and at the stern. All right, let's see who's going to win. They took out their rods and they casted them into the water. The smell of spring and summer was in the air. The trees were blossoming and the flowers were so bright white. If you listen very carefully, you can hear the reels as the reels were reeling in. All right. I don't see anything yet. I don't understand, the little boy of the trumpet said. We're usually very good, and we do very well when we fish. Well, I think we need some bait, said the middle brother. Well, I am using bait. Well, what are you using, the little boy of the trumpet said. Well, I used a little bit of bread that we had in my pocket, and that was meant for a lunch, and I forgot that it was in my pocket. So it's stale bread. Do you really think you're going to catch a fish using stale bread? The youngest brother said. Okay, what are you using? Well, before we left and decided to go out here on the lake, I turned over a couple of rocks, and I have some worms. Where did you get worms? Don't you worry, I have some worms, and I told you that I will be catching the most fish. Well, that's not fair, said the older brother with the trumpet. I can't believe it. You're really going to catch all these fish because you have worms. And that's not fair. Well, it is fair, the youngest brother said. There were no rules on what we could use for bait. What are you using? He asked. Little boy the trumpet leaned over and said that he was using a lure. There were very special lures in the bottom corner of the boat. It was a box that they had used for many, many years. It had various types of lures from different colors of bright orange and chartreuse to all the colors that would need be and used for beautiful fishing. Soon, they decided that they were going to move to another spot. Just wait, one more cast, the Lord the Trumpet said. 
as he made his large cast out into the water, all of a sudden, the water became swirling. Round circles and swells in the water. I think I got one. I think I got a big one. <laughs> Line was stripping out of his hand as fast as possible. Hold on. Come on. We have to wait. I can't wait. Bring your line in. He's starting to pull the boat. Oh, yeah, you're right. That is a big fish. All of a sudden, the boat started to move in the water. Are you sure you didn't catch a whale? I don't know. This is the magical, mystical forest, and you never hold on. The line was stripping out of his pole as fast as possible. You better hold on tight because before you know it, you're going to lose that line. And when you lose the line, the rest of it's going to go and you're going to snap the line. You've got to land that. You remember what Dad always says. The only way that it counts as a caught fish is if you land them and put them in the boat. All right, come on, guys. Start paddling. They took the oars and they began to paddle as fast as they could. Finally, they were able to get all the way over to where the fish was starting to slow down. All right, come on, let's get this thing in. All right, let's go. Teamwork. All right, I'm going to get a little closer around the side. You just reel in slow and steady. Let's go to the bow of the boat. I'm going to go grab the net, said the youngest brother. All right, let's go quick. Little by little, the fish was getting tired, and soon they were able to see what it was. Come on, what is it? What is it? I don't know. I don't know. I can't see it just yet. As they looked over the bow of the boat, they could see the crown surface and the top of the head. I think you're right. I think you caught a whale. They looked over a little bit more and they saw exactly what it was. You caught a big, big, fat lake trout. I caught a lake trout. I don't think we've ever caught a lake trout over here. Well, that's exactly what it is. Come on, let's see if we can reel this in. It's almost half the size of the boat. They all started to laugh. Oh, stop. Now you're making up stories. Come on, let's get them in as fast as we can. The little boy with the trumpet held the pole steady, nice and tight. All right, come on, nice and easy. Get that net in the back end side so we can get his tail. All right, hold on. Nice and easy, nice and easy. Here, here it comes. All right, we gotta pull it up, pull it up. <laughs> they landed the fish. Holy mackerel! Look at the size of this. I don't think I've seen a fish this large in a very long time. Oh, good job. Listen, he's very, very tired. Let's take a picture so that we can show everybody at home that we caught this big, beautiful fish. Oh, I love the spring and summertime, they all said. The air is so beautiful and the sun is so bright. And it's warming all of our, all of the people that are out. And all of the fish are going to be nice and happy. They took their picture and carefully released the fish back in the water. Nice and easy. As he made his way back into the water, they had so much fun that day. Let's make sure we go back quick before the sun goes down. All right. We'll do that as fast as we can. They made their way all the way back to shore and found their way back home. Wow. That was really exciting. It was a lot of fun, wasn't it? Boy, I haven't went fishing in a long time. And that was a lot of fun. They made their way in. They took their shower. They put on their new pajamas. Climbed into their nice cozy beds. They rested their heads on the pillow. They took a deep breath in through their nose. And out through their mouth. <sighs> Soon they became very, very tired. Just quiet, resting. And soon they began to fall fast, fast asleep. As her eyes became heavier and heavier. They became Sleepy and sleepy until soon they fell fast, fast asleep. They had such a wonderful day and couldn't wait until tomorrow would come.